Hello and welcome to Straight to Coding. Today we are going to talk about public key and private key encryption uh, using RSA cryptography. And we're going to see how we can use the RSA service provider to decrypt, encrypt and decrypt a uh, string. Encryption will be done using the public key and decryption will be done using the private key. So I've got here, a console, I've set up a console application and I've created a class called RSA encryption service. Now in this RSA encryption service, what I've done here is I have initialized um, RSA cryptography, crypt crypto service provider, and I'm passing in 2048 as a key size. Okay. And in my constructor, I'm going to export uh, the, the private key. So in order to export the private key, we pass through to this export parameter and that will give us a private key and we can store that here as an instance. And then for the public key, we call the same method export parameter and we pass false and then we get a private key and a public key. Okay. Now what we have here is a, a method to return the public key as a string. So what we do is we create a string writer and then we create an instance of the XML serializer passing in RSA parameter as a type and then we use the string writer with the public key and we serialize it and then we return it as a string using the string writer. We do something similar uh, for the private key. We create a string writer, we create an instance of the serializer, XML serializer, again passing RSA parameter as a type we then serialize it, uh, the pub, pub private key, and then we return it as a string. So with these two methods, we can get the private key and public key as strings, so we can inspect it. Now, we have two more methods here. One is to encrypt, and one is to decrypt. So for encryption, we will pass in a plain text, and then we will initialize a new RSA crypto service provider and we will import the public key so we are using the public key to encrypt so we will import the public key that we created earlier so this is a new um, rsa crypto service and then we pass a public key to it as an import parameter and then we will for the plain text we will get a byte version of it so the data byte and then using the encoding unicode to get the, the bytes and then we will pass that byte data to the RS, to the crypto service provider and then encrypt it. So once we encrypt it, we'll get a cipher data and then we will convert it to base64. So this will give us the encrypted data back. And for the decryption, now that we have a cipher text, we will, what we have to do is convert it from the base64 into data bytes and we're using a new or the same um, instance that we have here as a crypto service provider we will import it this and this time you're going to use a private key so we use a private key to decrypt so we call the decrypt method on the crypto service provider passing in the data bytes and setting this to false so this way we get a plain text in bytes back and then we can use encoding Unicode to get a string of the plain text bytes. This is very simple, okay? Now, um, I have a program here. What we are going to do is we are going to run it. We will initialize our own RSA encryption service that we created here. And then we will print the public key. We will also print the private key just to inspect both of them. And then, we have a text here. This is the text that we are going to encrypt. Okay, so we will then call the encrypt method, the one that we have here, passing in the plain text, and then we will use the crypto service provider encryption method to encrypt it. Okay, so we will encrypt it, and then we will print the encrypted data below, and then we will also pass the same encrypted cipher text data back to the decrypt method that we have here and then we can also decrypt it 
again by this time we use, we'll use the private key okay so let's run it okay now what we have here is first we are printing the public key so this is the public key this is how the public key looks like and the private key the gen the new private key that we have it looks like this okay and then this is the text that we are going to encrypt so when we encrypted it this is a returned data okay and then we pass this data back to the decrypt method and then we got back this encrypted this um text back okay now let's run it again uh this time we will do uh, step by step we will step through the code and see how it works again so here we have we now have a new instance of the crypto service provider we are going to get the private key and get the public key okay and then we are going to then follow up with the rest of the code here yes okay so again we have a public key and a private key and the same sort of text that we passed through earlier okay this is a very simple service and it's the best one of the best ways of encrypting your data easily and decrypting it back using public and private keys okay thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this